Hello everybody, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial and I'm featuring the new Simon Says Stamp Rest and Refresh collection. This new release has a bunch of fabulous new summer themed products and I'm going to be using quite a few of the nautical ones in my cards today. My cards are a set of some very simple and easy cards to make with some fun layering and a coordinating envelope. So let's get started with the card. I'm going to first start off by using the Anchors Background Stamp. This is a six by six cling stamp, and I'm going to mount it into my Misty stamping tool. Now, the reason I'm going to use the Misty is because this is a large stamp, and I wanna be able to stamp it multiple times because I wanna get a really nice impression. I'm going to be stamping with Distress Oxide inks onto some ivory cardstock, which is from Simon's Stamp. I've turned this into an A2 sized card base, and I'm going to lay it onto my background stamp and then flip the Misty over so that way I get the placement of my card exactly as I want it for the background. The background I'm inking up with Faded Jeans Oxide Ink. I love stamping with Oxide Inks because they give such a beautiful and crisp impression and they're super easy to clean up off of your stamps. I'm stamping this, like I said, a couple of times just to get a really nice impression and that's the really nice thing about the Misty is that it allows you to do this very easily. Once my background was stamped, I put a little bit of that Faded Jeans Oxide Ink onto my worksheet and I'm just picking up the ink with a wet paintbrush and splattering it across the background just to give it a little bit of texture. I wanna enhance that look with a little bit of metallic ink. So I'm going to be using this beautiful white metallic watercolor from Fine Tech, and I'm just going to sprinkle that across the background too. It's pretty subtle right now, you're not gonna see it real well, but when you see the finished card and the photos of it, you'll see that show up nicely. A new die that Simon has come out with in the Rest and Refresh collection is this anchor die. There's actually two anchor dies in this release. One is a tag and the other one is just an anchor shape. I'm using the anchor shape and I'm gonna cut it from some of this nice gray cardstock from Gina K Designs three times so that I can layer these together to create a more dimensional embellishment. So after I pop these each out of the cardstock, I'm gonna pop out all the little negative pieces and then I'm gonna layer them using the Gina K Designs dot runner. Just using this dot runner across the die here because it's a fairly large size is a really easy way for me to get some adhesive on here. You could also use a tacky glue, like the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue, but I just had the dot runner on hand. Now to make this anchor look like more of an embellishment and to give it a little bit of contrast from the background, I'm going to use my Hickory Smoke Distress Ink Pad. This is not the oxide ink, but rather the, just the regular Distress Ink. And I just use that to brush some color along the edges. Lawn Fawn Trimming is such a great twine for tying onto these anchors. And I'm going to be using some of that really beautiful red and like creamish colored twine to use as the twine for the anchor. Now when I applied the twine, I did it a couple different ways because I made two different cards. They each have the same basic design, but when I put the anchor down, I arranged the twine in a couple different ways. And this one was my favorite because this one reminds me of a heart and it's gonna really translate nicely with the heart that I'm going to add on to the anchor later. So I kind of tucked the twine here and there around the anchor so that it forms kind of the shape of a heart on my cart. And I used foam tape to attach this anchor down and that's what's giving a little bit of pop off of the cart itself. I tied the ends of the twine using just a few little knots and that helps with that more nautical feel but it also is gonna help keep the twine from coming through the backside of the anchor itself. So I'll turn those knots around and then just trim off the excess and arrange things as I want on the card. For greetings, I pulled out a few sentiments from the new Your Light stamp set. This is a really beautiful nautical stamp set and it's got some great greetings in it that are perfect for encouragement. So I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments, this more scripty greeting, onto some ivory cardstock using the Faded Jeans ink. Stamp that a couple times to get a nice crisp impression. And then on a piece of Schoolhouse Red cardstock, I'm going to stamp You Are Strong. And this pairs up really nicely with the script greeting that I used on this card as well. And this one I'm stamping with embossing ink so that I can add white embossing powder on top. 
Once I've heat set this, I can trim this down, but I actually decided to rip the paper to give it a more distressed look and help with that nautical feel. So what I did was I tore the two ends of the sentiment strip, and after tearing those ends, I took the Tim Holtz Distressor, this is paper distressor, and it's basically kind of does the same thing that if you rub the edge of a, a pair of scissors over your paper and you get that rough edge, it basically does the same thing, but it's safer. So I really love that distressor. It really gives that nice, soft, rough edge to the paper and really goes nicely with this card. The other greeting I fussy cut out with some fine tip scissors, and then I'm gonna pop both of those up off of my card using foam tape. Finally, I finished off the card with a cute little red heart, and that really just kind of ties in the encouragement, the love, and all those beautiful nautical colors into this design. So like I said earlier at the beginning of this video, I actually created some coordinating envelopes for these cards. They're really easy. I wanted to keep these cards simple that you could follow along really simply and easily, but yet still create some really cool layered cards. So to start, I'm taking my envelopes and I'm gonna lay them on top of the anchor background where I'm going to want the background to stamp. And then I'm going to use the MISTI basically backwards to trap that paper into the MISTI so that I get the placement exactly how I want it. Now that I have that mounted into the MISTI, I'm going to ink up the stamp. This is that same anchors background we used at the beginning. I'm inking it up with white pigment ink from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm gonna stamp that down onto the corner of my envelope. Once I've stamped to that, then I can take the envelope out and I have these really cool half stamped envelopes that has a very modern and cool design. It leaves room on the left so you can write in the address, but it adds this really nice decoration to the envelopes and really ties in nicely so the whole card set co is cohesive. This card would also make a great Father's Day design. If you just changed up the sentiments, it would be perfect for any sea loving father, like my dad. <laughs> So I'm going to leave you with a couple of videos I think you might like, and you can also subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. If you're interested in any of the products used, I have them linked below. And thanks again for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I'll see you again soon, and have a wonderful day. Bye!